I just thought everybody knows how to make bacon and eggs. I'm gonna make a beautiful salad. Oh! See, I put them off where the coals are. So I'm making a potato salad that has no carbs in it. Okay, I'm gonna make a nutty crust. And I'm gonna use one cup of almond flour. They also call it almond meal. One cup. And a half a cup of chopped pecans. And they're chopped, so they're kind of like gravel. And I'm gonna use a, a tablespoon of stevia sweetener, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. It's a quarter of a cup. And I just put it in the microwave a little while and got it softened up. There's still some lumps, but it'll all stir in. Then you just stir that all up. The only thing with a nutty crust, it's not going to be flaky. It's just, we don't get flakes. So our crusts are, they're crunchy, but not flaky. So get over it. This is a nutty crust and it's going to go for a pumpkin pie that we're going to make after we make the crust. Put it in a nine inch pie plate and you just push it down. It takes a little bit of time to get it all spread out and evenly thin around. Get it up the sides. You know, maybe you could turn your your music on and listen to a couple love songs while you press this out. It's going to take some time. This makes a great crust for a pumpkin pie and the pumpkin pie that I'm making is also low carb. I've heard people say the low carb lifestyle is boring I'm sorry, <laughs> it is not boring. It is so tasty. And this pumpkin pie, oh my goodness. You know, my rule is fill them with fat right off the bat. When you eat fat and good fats, you don't crave sweets. And so even within a dessert, if you fill it with fat, they're not gonna even miss that it's not as sweet as so many desserts are that we have today. So I'm pleased with the, how far I'm going to get that crust up the sides. This kind of a crust, you can bake it like this and fill it with a cream pie thing. That It works that way too. I'm going to bake it all at once with the pumpkin we'll fill. See, I've spread it out real evenly. And then our, our pumpkin will go on top. Crack your egg and you let the egg white fall out and there's still more so you put it in the other half and shake that out. You keep transferring that egg yolk back and forth. Careful not to let the edges of the egg shell cut into your yolk because you don't want any yolk in the whites. So now I have eight egg yolks and I'm making a pumpkin pie <laughs> using eight egg yolks. It is going to be so rich. You will just love this. And there's a lot of fat in egg yolks. They're so good for you though. And they will add the fat to this dessert that will make your guests not even miss that it's not quite as sweet as your basic pumpkin pie would be. So I'm going to beat up these egg yolks till they're creamy. And they sort of turn a lemon color. There, that's good. And, and this is a small can. It's, uh, ooh, it's such a pretty color. I would love to have a blouse and a sweater and a rug. I'd like to have lots of towels, that color. It's so pretty. And this color is in. So to that pumpkin, I'm going to add a cup and a half of coconut milk. Mix that in. 
And then I'm going to add, this is two tablespoons of stevia. That's an artificial sweetener that I use. And I'm going to do one tablespoon of uh, pure maple syrup. Not your fake stuff. This is pure. Terry's maple syrup, but he can give me a tablespoon of it. It'll just add a nice little flavor. Then I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ginger, and I also, Penzi has an apple pie spice that has cloves in it, and I didn't have ground cloves and I wanted some in, so I used a half a teaspoon of it, which was cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and a whole bunch. So that's all going in. I'll stir that all up, get it all mixed. I could use the mixer, but this works just as good. Making this with coconut milk, and it calls for real milk, and I'm using coconut milk. I have no idea if it's going to turn out or not. It may just be runny all over everything, and I have to throw it out, but that's one thing that you do when you're experimenting. And I will let, no, I won't let you know. If it doesn't turn out, you won't see this video. And now I'm going to add the egg yolks. And I am trusting, I'm trusting that the egg yolks will cause this to be custardized and it will, oh, those are two pretty colors. Woo! Hmm. Put those egg yolks in. Oh, with that nut, cr nutty crust with the pecans in it. Yellow and orange. It's got to be blended and turn out to be um, a more yellowy pumpkin color. Pour into our crust and then we're going to bake this under our pie crust. Like that. This will go in a hot oven, 400 degrees, for 50 minutes. And um, I might put some pecans around the edge because we don't have a crust look here like we're used to when we get a pie. So I might just do that. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with. <laughs>